Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we are going to be reviewing a new thermal tape case, so let's get straight to it. ARGB and we'll get to the ARGB in a moment. But first, let's just have a look at the outside of the case. So as you can probably see with this case, you get a gold wing window design, which means you can see inside your case from the top and the side. Great. Okay, so let's start looking at the front of the case and we always start with the front IO. So on the left, we have there the RGB button and we'll go through that in a moment. USB 3. USB 2, headphone, microphone, USB 2, USB 3, and obviously your LED lights for power and hard drive activity, and a power, a power button. And a power button. <laughs> so on the front of the case, we see this area here, and for this demonstration, I'm gonna pull this. I wanted to do it. So on the front of the case here, other than the front I.O. that you've got at the top there, you've got this clear panel here. And behind that clear panel, there are two 200mm RGB fans. I'm going to pull the front cover off now so you can see what's inside. So as you can see there, you've got to pull hard as you do with most front panels, but then it is new. Uh, you've got the two 200mm fans and I must say they are freaking huge and they are fully RGB, customizable and they're going to spin slowly which means the noise is going to be really really low which means great cooling and low noise which is what everyone wants these days, even me. Uh, mm -hmm. So that is great to see and I do like that. And again with premium products from Thermaltake they change the logo on their top end products and they tend to use the TT in white there and the thermal take underneath so you know that if you get a product with that logo on it you're getting one of their top tier products and that symbol means that you can get the best type of gear from them okay so we're going to put the side the front so we're going to there <laughs> okay so we're going to put the front panel back on and we're going to move on to the gold wing window on the side so here we have the gold wing window which reaches from the pretty much all the way up the bottom of the case to the very top so it gives you a nice view of your internals but you do have to be careful that if you're planning on mounting your GPU vertically which you can in this case uh, you do need to be careful that it doesn't get too close to the perspex side panel one because it does affect cooling and also it will warp all perspex cases with windows like this will warp. Whether they're curved or they're flat, doesn't make any difference. Just be aware of that. that if your GPU is on for a long period of time and you're playing games where it produces a lot of heat and it will actually bend inwards because the graphics card is obviously sucking air in and then outwards. So that's something to bear in mind. But with a gold wing design here, you're gonna get a very good view of all your lovely expensive internals that you're planning on putting in this case. Water cooling, whatever it may be, you're gonna get a good view of your gear. So let's move on to the back of the case. So as you can see here on the back, you've got your usual 
PSU space there, you've got eight PCIX slots there, and you've got your IO shield port up there, and space up here for a fan. You do get an RGB fan with this, uh, which is also controlled the same as the front, so the button on the front will control the rear fan and the two fans on the front. So everything syncs together out of the box, which is really, really good. So here is where your vertical GPU will be mounted. And it looks to me like you've probably got space for about two and a half um, slot GPU. Any bigger than that, and you're gonna to start touching the side panel, which you do not want, because it will affect cooling, and over time, it will warp your side panel here as well. Also on the back, as usual, you've got a pull-out dust filter on the bottom for your PSU. That goes the full length of the case. We move on to the other side, right-hand side of the case. And as usual, it's just a side panel here, so nothing much to see. You've got a slightly curved bit at the top here, which is quite nice. It's curved on both sides, uh, which gives a nice design to the case. And on here, you've got an inlet in case you're gonna mount a radiator vertically, which you will probably want to do in this case to show it off. And that gives you good airflow from the side panel here. So here we got some little vents for the two fans to have some breathing space. So we've had a quick look around the outside of the case. We're now gonna open the gold wing window on here and we're gonna look and see what's inside. So on the side panel itself, there is plastic on the bottom and the top for holding it in place. And on the reverse of the side panel, you've got this kind of black bit along the edges here. Um, but the Perspex, it is all quite thick Perspex as well. So maybe what I said about it warping won't be too much of an issue. They've used quite high quality Perspex with this. So that is very good to see. So we're inside the case and I will show you some close-up shots as I'm talking about each part. So here we have a lovely looking case. It's an open design case. It looks modular as well in that it looks like that you might be able to move this tray, this hard drive tray up onto different slots here. And I'll try and confirm that a bit later on. So you get here your it looks like these are RGB. Yeah, they're possibly RGB cable extension cables here for the front fans so that you can plug those in, but we'll confirm that a bit later on. So these are, are there. And you get three three and a half inch trays here, which of course you can put an SSD in as you can with most of them. Uh, but you can only put one SSD in on these particular ones. But you have three slots should you wish to use this. We're gonna take this out. There is a box of tricks inside this case. And in here I expect to find things like extra screws and all those kind of things. Um, Motherboard mounts and various things like that. Once I can open it. Okay, so in the little box of tricks, we get some cable ties. Looks like you get about eight cable ties with this, little cable ties, these little ones here. And you get obviously some screws. You get a ton of screws. That's the most screws I've ever seen that come with a case in there. I don't know if you can see those very well, um, but there is a ton of screws in there. That is always good to see, love that. And you have fan screws here, should you wish to mount any fans on a radiator. Uh, looks like they've got long sh long fans in there, tons of short fa uh, short screws in there, and uh, with washers as well. I've not seen a case come with washers before for a long time, so that's, that's good. So we'll put those back in, and we'll continue looking inside the case. 
Which is what you guys are actually waiting for, not box. That's inside, okay. <laughs> okay, so in the bottom here, obviously we've got the hard drive caddy there, which you can probably take out. And again, we'll confirm that once we look at the back of the case here. So we've got six holes here with rubber grommets on for cable routing, uh, water cooling, and all those kind of things that you're gonna push through there. We've got one down the bottom here for the larger, for the PSU cables down here, there. The PSU compartment itself has rubberized kind of um, pads on the bottom, and these are not for static. These are to stop vibration. So that is really, really good to see, actually. And it's something that I would expect to see on a higher end case. We also have the vertical mount here. Very, very solid vertical mount. Looks very similar to the Core X71. It's probably, in fact, very much the same as the one from the Core X71. So you can mount your riser card on here. So as I've already said about the vertical GPU, you can probably fit a two and a half slot uh, graphics card in there, which gives you probably about an inch of clearance between the graphics card and the Gullwing window side panel. So the front panel IO connections are all behind the motherboard tray, and I'll show you that when we get to the other side. There is really good ventilation here, and I can see even before getting to the back side or the right side of the case, um, that cable management is again gonna be really, really good in this case. There's probably two inches or maybe more of clearance between the motherboard tray and the right-hand side side panel on this case, which is really, really nice to see. Cable management is gonna be awesome in this case. So we're gonna go through the radiator support for this case. On the front, you can get a 360 mil rad in there or up to a 420. So on the back, you can get a 120 or a 140 mil rad. So on the right-hand side here, this space here, which you can remove the um, hard drive trays here for, uh, you can fit yourself a 360 mil rad or up to a 420 mil rad. So for fan support in this case, starting from the front, you can get three 120 mil fans in the front, three 140 mil fans, or two 200 mil fans, as this case already comes with 200 mil RGB fans. You wouldn't really want to change these, surely. So on the bottom of the case, you can fit a 120 or a 140 mil fan. On the back, it's the same again, a 120 or a 140mm fan. So on the right hand side of the case, you can fit yourself three 120mm fans or three 140mm fans. So let's look at the right hand side of the case and see what the cable management is actually like. So as I thought, the front panel IO connections are all cabled up here and you've got the USB 3 connection, HD audio, USB front panel header, power switch and all those normal things that you would expect to plug into your motherboard to make it actually work. They're all tied up there. The great thing about this case is that, as I already mentioned on the other side, there's about two or more inches of clearance. And the reason for that is not only to help you cable manage your, your cables from the power supply and all those other things, because obviously you're gonna probably wanna try and hide everything away as you will be able to see your PSU from the Gullwing window on the other side. So they give you plenty of room to maybe put um, extension cables in if you're going to use colour coded extension cables, which you probably would want to do in a case like this. There is also four trays here for mounting SSDs on and I quite like this design and it's really 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 good and I wish they would probably do this more. So obviously on a higher end case They've uh, really, really pushed the boat out here and given you plenty of storage availability um, for your SSDs. A three and a half inch hard drive on here, obviously only one, or two SSDs. So there are four of these and that gives you an insane amount of storage expansion for this case. And it's all hidden behind the side panel here. So these are really easy to take out and put back in. There's two little notches on the bottom. You simply rest those in there and it's one thumb screw which has a captive screw on it. So you're not gonna lose the screws from these. So the great thing about this particular case is that it already comes with three fans, as I've already said. The two 200 mil front fans on here and the one at the back and they're all RGB and you can control them from your motherboard using your own sync software depending on your motherboard manufacturer. So with sync support you can expect 
Asus Aura Sync, RGB Fusion Ready from Gigabyte, MSI Majestic Light Sync support, and ASRock Polychrome RGB support. So the RGB controller is again connected to a SATA connection, so they've done away with the old style Molex connector, which is great to see. But I would still like to see SATA pass through. Now I know it's powering free fans and various other things that you can connect to here. Looks like you can connect another standard fan there and maybe a RGB strip there as well, similar to their other cases. Uh, but it would also be nice to see that you could connect something else to that as well, instead of losing a SATA port. But that's neither here or there. That's not that much to worry about actually. Again, you've got plenty of tie downs for tying up those cables and keeping a nice clear path for your cable management if that's the way you tidy your cables. So this case is going to set you back around the £140 mark. So for the price you get a gold wing window design here, you get free RGB fans which you can sync with your motherboard, plenty of intake on the front here. So if you're worried about storage then don't worry with this case because you can mount yourselves 8 3.5 inch hard drives or 11 SSDs. That's obviously not including your NVMe and other storage options you've got within the motherboard itself. That is an insane amount of storage availability in such a great looking case. So for those points, we give this case a nine out of 10. So thanks for watching another one of our videos and I hope you liked our look at the View 37 ARGB from Thermaltech. Thanks guys for sending that over. So don't forget to check out the links below of how you can support us. You can do donations if you so wish, but obviously we would love you to subscribe. So if you like what we do, make sure you subscribe. That is the best way to support us. But if you do want to chuck us some money, then do check out the links below and there are various ways to do that. If you want to follow us, there are various social media sites that you can follow us on. So that about sums up our look at the View 37A RGB. Make sure to like, subscribe, click the notification button and we'll see you in the next one. Goodbye! Make sure to like, subscribe, click the notifications button and I'll see you in the next one. We'll, we'll see you in see the you next, next one. one! Hey guys! What? <laughs> On the front of the Versa <laughs> so on these trays of which there are four in this case you can mount yourself a three and a half inch hard drive mechanical hard drive or you can mount two ssds there are four of these <laughs> please tell me that was recording oh